I have a little bit more independent recently because uh, I have learned how to take care of the computer doing uh, SMTV work. <laughs> yeah, so I feel a little bit better, more independent. Because to be dependent is the worst thing you can have in your life. Yes, Master. I order a lot of these uh, demon gone, but some are still around, even though uh, not many percentage, but still a lot. And they still try a lot to bug me very much. The other day, on Saturday, 6 June, I ordered your skill protectors and plus other goddesses as well, whoever can help. I order them to drag all the harmful spirit to hell or to, or to the fall level if they are truly repentant. If the lot of fall level okay, then they can go up there meanwhile or stay there forever. I don't mind. I have some good news, but I cannot share with you at the moment because I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried if I told you it will be delay or derail. The other day, the protector asked me, zealous demons plead for leniency. Will not you forgive? I said, okay, last time of leniency, for three more days only. Uh, for what they have done to all beings, they should be destroyed. Wow. wow. But now, if Lord uh, the Four Level benevolently accept them, then they can uh, either stay there or go to a new room after. Wow! If they are truly repentant. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, Master. And I asked uh, Yosuke Gosses, you've got all of them? And they say, no, still some hiding in humans and animals. Wow. Yeah, in the gap of humans and animals. So I say, okay, deal with those at hands first, as instructed. Get them out of my sight, for example, like that. So 10,000 zealous spirits and bad uh, ghosts and demons still on earth. That was on 5th of June. And then uh, one day I was so tired of all the <laughs> so-called punishment. I say, do I really deserve this? I mean... It's not like I'm dying or wounded or anything, but still, it's a lot of mental molestation, torment. So the OU protector told me, no one deserves to be treated as badly as you are. Yes. So I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks for telling <laughs> something that I knew. <laughs> But thanks for your sympathy, I say. Do something. Get rid of all the devils then. Doesn't matter. As long as it helps, I can suffer. It doesn't matter. I say, I don't mind. I mean, I do mind, but I, I accept. Thank you. So the other day, on the 6th of June, they say there's still more or less 10, you know? And it could be mean 11 or 12,000, understand? Yes, Master. Uh, Zealous uh, spirit still hanging on. They said to me, we will get them. Wow. <laughs> it's not your disciple truly make you trouble. It is the zealous demons who push them. I say, I know. I know all that. That's, I know. That's why I forgave them all. Oh, there are some good news, but we cannot talk right now. <laughs> I will show it to you when it comes. I show it to you in my writing here, okay? Okay, Master. Yes. Thank you. I say to all the zealous uh, spirit in three days. That was on the 6th of June. The deadline is gone. No more leniency. If they have not repented by then and come out and uh, get deliverance to the fall level, then they will not be having any more chance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I say, for what you have done to all beings, you should have been destroyed. So that's the chance that you get. No more chance. All right. Uh, what else? Yeah. This is just reason thing, yeah? Yes, yes, Master. Uh, some of my words tell me things about something in the future and the past life. Wow. I'm busy every day, I said. <laughs> June 4, busy every day, complain sometimes of too little time to relax, to really relax. Yes. And some inside job has not been done well, have not uh, enough time to finish, to catch up. So I will have to catch up, so do more meditation intensely at night. At daytime I have to do many work. 
daytime also do meditation, not just work, but sometimes have no time in daytime, so nighttime have to catch up. Mm. Oh. Mm. Sometimes so tired, I was wondering whether I should eat or should go to sleep. <laughs> oh. I have to make choice between sleeping or eating. <laughs> so I just go sleep sometimes, uh, too tired. And then I was uh, writing here about D, the bird that came to my rescue, yes, killed the snake, ate some part of it, so the negative can't make a, into a zombie. I told you already, yeah? Yes. yes. And we can show now his clip, he permitted, because no harm come to him now. People see lots of this type of birds, he said. Uh, before he was kind of handicapped. When he was younger, when he saw me, he worried people will catch him, so he told me not to show him uh, on photo or TV or anywhere. But now he say, okay. Also, I say, if you kill the snake like that, is there any karma for you so bad? He say, no, no. Wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's my job to protect. He's a bad one, so. I say, you protect me like that, also, will you have any karma? And he say, but you protect me <laughs> before. <laughs> And, uh, oh, you, protector, also tell me that you protected him, so it's okay. <laughs> you know, like I protected him before. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. One time I have to pick him up because some dogs are running out and try to scare him, so I had to shoo the dogs away and pick him up. I pick him up several times just to save him from something and some uh, entanglement and some bushes and also from the dogs and from all the big birds. And I gave him initiation. Oh, wow! <laughs> As per request. <laughs> wow! I, I never thought to give uh, initiation to bird, especially wild bird, but I did give it to him. Wow! <laughs> and I also asked him any harm to other birds which are the same type with you, uh, because we, if we show you on TV, any harm to other same type of bird or not? I say no, zero. Oh no, not him. Is a uh, Oh, you protector, tell me that. So that's why I was sure to tell you guys can show him on TV. So I say thanks a lot, protectors. I was worried. I'm reading here, okay? Yes, yes, sir. I was worried it might affect him or his type of birth. I asked him if he has a partner already. Is he lonely still? He said no. He doesn't have any partner. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I don't know if you're interested in this kind of stuff. It's nothing spiritual. Is it okay? <laughs> you want? <laughs> yes, yes, Master. <laughs> it's just my conversation with him, you know. I just worry about him if he's okay, if he has a partner like everyone else. He say no. I quote in quotation mark, will be single all my life, he said. Oh. And he reincarnated this time as bird to protect me. That's his sole purpose for love. So I say thanks, D. Bless you. Wow. Some of the zealous spirits send me an SMS. Uh, say it depends on you that you have vegan or not. You have to do this, do that for us. I say, oh, get lost. <laughs> <laughs> get lost. <laughs> Whom are you talking to? <laughs> okay. What did they demand, Master? Oh, uh, nonsense. For world peace sake, I cannot love my dogs. Oh. I cannot, uh, for world vegan as well, blah, blah. Master, is that why you would lose 14% of spiritual power and saving power for humans if you saw your dogs? Yes, it's true also, but uh, it's not because of the dogs. Then why, Master? It's the people who has to bring the dogs to me. Oh. The people who have to come and go to take the dogs out and take them to feed and all that. Oh. And not all people are at a high level uh, or matching to my energy, especially in my time of retreat. Oh. Yes, it's a sensitive time, okay? Yes, Master. And retreat, you should not see anybody. You should not watch TV. You should not see anything that you like and all that. You should leave the whole world behind. I should not really also work for Supreme Master Television either. I wish I don't have to. Because sometimes I don't come back to the body quick enough, okay? 
Yes, mas. And sometimes I hold something and it just drop out of my hand for no reason, as if I did not hold it. Oh. My telephone keep dropping all the time. You know the handphone. Yes. I say sorry, phone. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> I worry the phone will break, but the phone was so tough. You know these iPhone. Yes. I have learned to use some part of it for SMTV. For everybody, not for me. I'm not interested in any. We? Ah, yes, yes. I'm going to tell you this now before I forget. Ah, uh, you want to ask something first? Oh, master. Okay. Please. Okay, because I ask and they say I can. Okay, I can tell you. Okay. 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 I offer all the saints I know from the shadow world, like fifth level, etc. Yeah? yeah, to my new realm, if uh, if they wanted to. Some refused. They refused because they would like to stay in the fifth level to help their disciples or some other people, mm-hmm. because from there they cannot access Tim to land at will. So if if they want, I can bring them up, but they would prefer to stay in the fifth level, for example, so to help others, help more of the world. So I say, what heroes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with exclamation mark, and with the heart, and then with thanks, and then with the infinity plus yeah. sign. Yes. Somebody say something here. Um, it's in quotation mark, but I don't know who told me at that time. I forgot to write. Must be OU gossip then, huh? M, mean master, yeah? Me. Can't be attached. Even the love and respect for a teacher before would hinder your peace mission. Whoa. That's what uh, one of the gods told me, but I forgot who. Never mind, it must be one of the high heaven. So I say thanks. This one I cannot tell you, it's some prediction. So another line is, this is final judgment time. Some of those who die in pandemic are also long term, some of them, some of those that get COVID-19 or any other pandemic are, are long-term demonic workers. Wow. Yeah, the torturers of innocence. Yes, not master. not all of them are possessed by demons. Yeah, and then here continue. After the possessed bodies die in disaster or diseases, zealous demon spirit dragged to hell. Okay, after this time now, the final judgment now. They are not allowed to possess another body to live on. So, as a zealous demon spirit will be dragged to hell because the real zealous demons are made of low substance and energy, so not redeemable. Those who are coerced, you know, forced, or you know, threatened to cooperate with the zealous demon and made into one of them, but they are coerced, yeah, mm-hmm. and they repent will be saved by Tim Kutu to save New Riem. Uh. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, the gods say, oh, this you could tell openly so people are happy. <laughs> hey. yes. Yeah. yes. And the other one, this I cannot tell you yet. Next one, I'm explaining here how they got human bodies, you know? Mm. Yes, Master. Yeah, as I just told you before. They use their magic, okay? This is a very powerful magic, okay? It's not normal magic like hula hop in the world, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yes. They use their special magic to force their humans out or to control their mind, to turn them into a zealous demon, to transform the living into zombie. Wow. Exclamation mark, many, many. Uh, by yanking the souls uh, away from people, leaving their bodies empty. So the demons can manipulate this body, yeah, to do whatever they want. Many uh, exclamation marks. And then next paragraph. Not only humans, but animals are also used in the same way. Yeah. Wow. Their souls, their spirit just get swooned out, and the soul leaves the body. And... Uh, this is uh, all you that was talking mm. yeah. all this way. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, they were explaining it to me. They continue saying, after the soul detached from the body, detached from the zealous spirit, yeah, 
you revive the soul lovingly, save it, and lead it to your safe realm. Wow. Uh, parenthesis, mini new realm, 11th level. Wow. Close parenthesis, something like that. Okay, huh? I told you before, Alzheimer's are cases of zombie possession, yeah? Yes. That's very obvious. That's why they're still alive, they're healthy, but they don't recognize any of their relatives, friends, or people they know before because they're not uh, really functioning. Yes. One day the Maya appealed to me, said, Oh, you don't feel sorry for the people? The world is in trouble, you know, like uh, flood the victims and all that, and... Why don't you give a, a lot of spiritual merit for them? Mm. I say, I do what I do. You don't try so hard to make trouble, okay? The all you gossips told me, oh, they just want you to lose a lot of precious merit for... Actually, it's for his people, not for your people, because these are the camouflaged appearance, yeah? Oh. They are not real people. Wow. Yeah, many people who die in disaster and all that are not real. Wow. This is uh, all you still talking, yeah? By appealing to Master's love, so I say, huh, huh, it's time for them to go, 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 go far to hell, don't bother me anymore. One time I was so tired and I could not meditate very well that day. I said, sorry, I feel like I'm so lousy, so lazy, but my body really so tired, I don't know why. So the goddess told me, you are not lazy, you are not lousy. It's karma of the world that drag your body and mind to tiredness often. Not your fault. Heaven beings know your heart, know what you're doing, yes. I say thanks for loving, kind words. We always have to pray to the Almighty God, okay? and dedicate all our good and fellow to the Almighty to ask Him to forgive our sins and give us liberation. New disciples, old disciples should all say this. Yes, Master. Recommend it by all you. <laughs> Before initiation and after initiation and uh, all the time. Hmm? Okay? And when we're working, we dedicate that to God Almighty as well, not us, okay? Not that we do it. Like this, we can avoid karma, yeah? Yes, Master. Good or bad karma, we don't want. <laughs> the, the Maya asked me about, I should sympathize, uh, you know, the victims of disaster, etc. This is more on top of that. <laughs> I read only the bottom, <laughs> and now I read you the rest, okay? Okay. And the, on top, because sometimes I thought I might write at the bottom first, yeah? And then I save uh, for other on top, but then it's continue, the same story. So originally it go like this. Do you love your people in the world? And this Maya even fake tell me that he's, uh, oh, you uh, protecting God. I say, hey, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to destroy you or what? You know already my condition. If anybody lied to me using the holy divinity of any kind, I will destroy you. Hmm? So tell the truth. So he said, i tell you later. <laughs> so I asked him, why you ask me whether or not I love my people? You know I love people. Why ask? So he said, because danger is near the future, yeah? I said, what kind of danger? He said, okay, typhoon, more people die from pandemic, sickness, lost world from diseases, from blowing wind, from zealous kind of war, from snowstorm, from all kind of problems, from uh, pressure riots, from doom day, uh, left people without safety. I said, thanks for the bad news. Ah, you don't tell me anything that I didn't know already. What's the use of all this? What more can I do anyway? They don't even listen. They don't care about the suffering of fellow beings, weaker beings. They continue eating meat and drinking alcohol and fighting each other. And I'm talking to deaf ears. 
even if I can help or pray for them, for their wellness. So they will continue to live and happy and well, then they will continue their wicked way to murder others and to murder animals and torturing the weak and the defenseless like animals and those who has no one to lean on, etc., etc. Then it will begin another bad effect again. Disaster will befall them again because the humans, they don't listen to me. So I say, why do you ask me all this? Because I know you are Maya. What for you bother about my people anyway, even if they are my people? But I know they are not my people. Your people are the one who disguise in all these people, causing a lot of trouble. That's why you, they die in disaster. Many of them are not my people, okay? Some are, but it's just their karma and their time to go, yeah? But many of them are zealous spirits are hiding inside, okay? So this is a time that heaven want to clean them all out, not just me alone, yeah? Yes, Master. Not just I alone that clean all this, the, the bad spirits and demons out, but he, heaven's also doing that. Also the humans, some of them, so bad karma that they had to die this way, okay? Wow. Also they don't listen anyway. So I say, why are you ask anyway? Huh? You don't care. You talk to my people all these countless eons, and now you talk like you are very compassionate, hey? Right? So the OU told me, oh, the Maya just wants Master to spend big precious merit for his people <laughs> by appealing to Master's love. So I say, ha, <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's time for them to go, 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 go far, far to hell, locked in there. That was in the May 20th. And the one I read just before this is May 21st. On May 19, uh, the gods has comfort me. Don't feel sad, I'm told. But my tears just keep naturally flowing often. I can't help it. In heavens, the system is easy. Here, working for years, nothing seems to be really happening here. Let me just cry in some moments like this to wash myself of the dirt of this world people are so lost in their fleeting mundane pursuit nothing else matters to them words won't penetrate them they are sitting there forever how would i move where to what with i mean what would i do what can i do where shall i go you know to do better yet if you criticize them, it may be worse <laughs> for you. <laughs> they are made of steel, iron. I am made of what? <laughs> Can't go against them. Mainstream power. Tears won't melt them either. I just cry myself alone. Uh, so they told me again not to be sad. But how am I to be happy? I answer them, looking at this mess of a world of irresponsible creation. Anything really good here? I can't shake off the illusionary feeling of knowledge about it, about all this mess. On the other hand, feel suffering for them, tortured by them, torn inside out, mentally, physically, by karma heaped on me nonstop. Yet, changes are too few. Just look at some of these so-called leaders. They sit on top just to obstruct others to do right even, to make so bad examples. Yet the public listen, worship, follow them to wrong way, to hell way. I told them that's why I'm sad, you know? Yeah. And that continue with the one I read before, okay? I don't want to feel sad, but my tears just naturally flow, etc., etc., yeah? Yes, Master. They keep telling me it won't be long, okay? I say, yeah, I keep promising, comforting, but it's too long, too long. All beings suffer endlessly. My tears are flowing endlessly. What's for all this? The stupid world, stupid humans. All they do is kill, 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 and kill each other and whatnot. I don't really want to stay here anymore. They are all just too stupid. Pardon my word, I wrote to myself, you know, I was very sad. Too poisoned, too arrogant, too thick, 
can't hear, can't feel, can't see nothing. Nothing can move them. Will I even last until peace or security yield for all beings and animals especially? With all daily stress about work, stuff like SMTV work, stress and... Yes, I have to think, you know, I can't just <laughs> say, okay, good. I have to even think to make comments, yeah? Oh, yes, yes. And write things for you guys, yeah, etc. So even uh, working for SMTV stuff, though it's good, it still has inner obstacle and unsmartness. Will I even last to see that day? You know, the promised day, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feel like working for nothing, too little, too slow. Is there any use talking to humans who seem blind, deaf, and dumb? Oh, God, too little, too slow to build up heaven here. They are so blurred, blank, blunt. Some religious leaders, politicians, environmentalists, even animal activists, etc., just talk, 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 and talk. Many of them are just talk and talk and talk. I talk to, to deaf people to blind humans, to stupefied race on a question mark and exclamation mark. You know, being a leader, you're supposed to lead people into the right direction. If you already know what's good for them, it's your duty. But it doesn't seem like they're doing much or not fast enough because they know, well, that piece of meat, if, if people continue to consume it, then the children and the other people, children, uh, you know, women, men, animals on this planet are going to be harmed, hurt, or killed, or maimed. And the other further generation, their children, their grand grand great grandchildren will be burned in such a inferno because of climate change due to meat consumption. Meaning meat industry. So I don't know why they hesitated so long. Not to talk about heavens and hells and punishment, rewarding, nothing else. As a human, we have to take care of each other, take care of other humans and animals, the weaker, lesser beings, by doing what appropriate to protect us, to protect them. For God's sake, I hope they do it quick, soon, otherwise we all go to hell except the good ones, for harming others, deliberately or not. Some of these days when I'm so down, when I had to watch SMTV's clip, those of Ireland one, and I cry my heart out, and I feel inconsolable because I feel so much suffering for the animals. You know, the way they die, so brutally killed, yeah? brutally murder, mercilessly like that. I mean, we all die someday, they will all die someday, but not that way. Yes, Master. Because this is about human beings. If human beings accept this kind of brutal, barbarous way of life, then we are lost. Yes, Master. We are doomed. We are no more human. We are loveless beings, and that is so sad, so sad. I don't just cry because of the violent way they treat animals, but I cry for the whole race of humans, that they are so lost. Yes, Master. So lost. The OUP told me, Master, all sinners and zealous demons are in hell and being punished. I say, okay, good, make sure they stay there. I don't have to punish them, but make sure they stay there, locked forever. <sighs> Just that the poison is still linger in humans' makeup, in humans' system, yeah, makeup of their beings. I am tired having to clean up for an old frame is physically, mentally taxing. Meaning me, I'm old body <laughs> for an old frame is too taxing, I said. 
Let's see what more to do to clean this mess of a world. I have just remembered that some of my manifestation body, some of them are VIP, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. One of them is a famous actor, have many uh, awards. Wow. Oscar winning and all that, yeah. <laughs> some are big top leader in the political world. Uh, two of them. Okay, never mind. Because we work in the soul level, we don't think much in the physical contact or connection. Yeah. I'm asking the goddess, yeah, how come some disturbance still rise up around me? You guys didn't drag all demons to hell? And trouble cause also? I have ordered 2,005 strong for this to do it, and you still can't? Well, I didn't write the answer. Maybe I was too busy. <laughs> I don't remember how they say it. Or maybe they answered the other day. I supposed to answer this day, but then I forgot to listen. Yes. That was on the 9th of May. I didn't write the answer. That means I did not listen or I was too busy or I was too tired. So the question just leave there open. It's probably similar to the other question that we heard before. I'm reading backward now. We are on the 8th of May. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that there are stronger strain of COVID-19. It goes more through eyes and it's very strong. As it's more easy to get there. For most people, they wear the mask, but they don't cover the eyes. And the COVID-19 manifests a stronger strain to go through the eyes and also the nose. Some people, they cover their mouth, but they don't cover their nose. It's funny. I saw some of my kitchen staff before. I always have to remind them, please cover your nose also. Otherwise, it's useless. And very strong now, that time I saw. Overall, everywhere too. And they also mutated to harm the children in different strange, yeah, different way. Not just COVID-19, other catastrophes will ravage earth and people. That's why I told Maya, I knew already, what for you tell me all these things that I knew already. He just wants to beg me to save his people in disguise so that they can continue to control the earth and torture people and animals and other beings. Oh, my God. Punishment will be more severe. I have written here about something that somebody have killed some scientists somehow to try to steal their work, their discovery for helping the COVID-19 pandemic. Oh. Yeah. I just noted for myself. I said, terrible. They should have not done this. It could be so good for the world patients. Wow. This is uh, one of the spy and he is one of the scientific college students. So, of course, they know where is what, who is doing what. Yeah, I say, oh, this is terrible. This discovery could be so good for the world, for the pandemic. I hope at least they stole it, but they will share. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For whomever in power, they should share, even if they stole it, uh, so that the scientists at least didn't die for nothing. Yes. Yes. That was on 7th of May, yeah? On the 6th of May, oh God Almighty, all the suffering animals since time immemorial, let the OU gosses take them all up, barring none. They suffer enough, they suffer too much, over too much. Let them go to Tim Kutu's new spiritual realm. My prayer, by your and all heaven's mercy, they will be forgiven. Please. Your school gossips, take them all up for me. I forgive them all in the name of the Most High. They will be brought up in all love, all glory, all dignity, and all magnificence. O oh, Most High Almighty, let them know you are love, you are benevolence, you are everything that we can imagine and cannot imagine. Let us take them home. I honor and love you, worship you, worship your name, amen. I was too desperate, I just blah blah to myself. Thank you, Master. I pray a lot of time. On earth, even, you do things, but you still pray for others. Yes, Master. 
Oh, never mind. This, uh, I was remembering something in the past because I noticed that some countries in which I have been suffering of some kind or uh, humiliated or they made trouble of some kind, they also suffer more than other countries in this pandemic. So I say remembering this and that and that's why I don't know if I should tell you this is negative stuff. I had to suffer even if I went to different countries quietly in normal clothes, going about my business quietly to try to pray for that country to lessen their pain. They still treat me not nice, wow. even though I harm no one. In some area they are suspicious. And not because of them alone, they are coerced, they are pushed by the zealous ghosts and demons. They specialize in doing that. So it make it worse for me, and in turn make that country suffer more than it's supposed to. I'm very sorry, but... Yes, yes Master. So I was remembering some of these uh, negative uh, and suffering time in certain, certain country or countries. Okay, this is uh, very old already, May. Huh? <laughs> and some spiders keep telling me things, you know. Oh. Something are not good, but something are good. Like they say, okay, be happy, this and that. You will be better off, don't worry, and things like that. Yes, yes Master. Sometimes they gossip, they say, your people are not working very diligently. <laughs> 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 so, well, they are just human. Sometimes they are tired. Sometimes their body don't allow them or make them tired. Or sometimes something good, they eat too much, so they get tired, <laughs> they get sleepy. <laughs> I say... We in human world are like that. So it's okay. Turn blind eyes. <laughs> yeah. That was a Sunday, May 3rd. <laughs> Sometimes fun. <laughs> if we're vegan, then this COVID-19 will disappear just like never have been. Wow. Then if the whole world will go vegan tomorrow, then lo and behold, pandemic gone at once. <laughs> I say, I'm just dreaming. <laughs> Drag some zeal demon to hell. I said, do it now for peace sake. I say, thanks. I ordered 2,000 plus strong to drag them out. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Because if less than not enough, huh? Okay. Yes, Master. Drag them, these bad invisible beings to hell as well. Any harmless, invisible beings can stay, I don't mind. Drag them to hell or any befitting place. This planet is not for you. It's not for these uh, zealous and bad demons and ghosts. It's for the living beings only. Oh, the dead, the bad, uh, the ghosts even must go. All troublemakers must go, 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 go. Oh, go where? Accordingly, not here, except good angels, protectors, saints, sages, and other harmless can stay. But other harmful beings must also live within three days. I said to the Osk, that was on May 3rd. I asked, uh, I got a vaccine on the April 30th. When will vaccine be ready for COVID-19? Yeah. They said sometime in July. And they said, driven for vaccine, kill more than help. Till well, I say, how many infected and died till then? Must find better way. So the God of victims told me, he did not make the victim, he just oversee yes. about how many victims and all that. So this is the God of victims in the shadow world. He told me, beings infected, Oh my God, I can't believe what I have written. Let me check again whether it is correct. Okay, that's it. Must be a million, cannot be a billion. He say infected around billions, around three billion plus, and die will be millions. Oh, wow. Four point two plus, that's what they told me. SMTV workers and M won't be included. Taiwan disciple won't be included. Worldwide. Disciple won't be included up to now either. Saying that doesn't mean that people.
before uh, disciples can do whatever they want and then still get away with the pandemic comic consequences. It's not like that. You have to really keep yourself in high moral and virtuous way of life. Otherwise, you would just go down like everyone else. If you destroy your own merit, if your marriage is too thin and you just make one more even little immoral act or mistake, then that merit will be destroyed, it's balanced out, and then you will be uncovered. So the high point is always keep yourself in the moral frame of precepts. Always pray for your protection. Not just actions, even our bad thinking will affect us, first of all, and also affect other people, whomever you directed your bad thinking to. So we have to always keep vigilant, really keep vigilant. Speech, thought, and action are these three. Actually, there's only three precepts we should keep. We keep pure in our thought. We keep pure in our speech. We keep pure in our actions. That's only three things to God. So it's not difficult, is it? Try, please, for your own sake and for the sake of the world. Most death will be in China. Thanks, Info Goddesses. Thanks, God of Victims. Because first I have to ask the Info Goddesses, so I have to thank Info Goddesses as well, yeah? Yes, I ask, who can I ask about this and that matter? And she, she will look into her computer <laughs> and tell me, okay, this God is responsible for that. That God is doing this, that God's doing that, yes. That's why I thank Info Goddesses and thank the God of Victims, yes. Lord of the fourth level refused. All will go to hell, the dead one, up to date, except the one that have something to do with me and do good. Yes, Master. So the, the rest go to hell. All slaughtered, taught uh, animals go to fourth level heaven. I beg for that. And it happened, yes. Wow. So I said, oh, thanks, love, love. Thanks, thanks, love, love. X, X, bless you. <laughs> I'm writing like kids here. <laughs> no grammar, no order, no... Tidiness is all messy. I still can read my own writing. I'm surprised. <laughs> Thanks so much for sharing. You're welcome. Oh, when I read the list on television, you give me sometime the list to check of my incarnations. Oh, yes. And I want to, to make sure, you know? Yes, Master. Uh, I worry maybe I saw it wrong. <laughs> Just to make sure, yeah? Just so that to be honest, yeah? Yes. So I asked the gods of info, whom should I check with? Because I cannot always go to the, the second level to see the Akashic record. Sometimes too much karma, sometimes I don't have time, because to go there is tiring. It's low level, yeah? Mm. So I asked her, whom should I ask? So the god info told me, ask the god of saints, the god who, who knows all about the saints on this planet ah, right. and other planets. So, so he told me, here is the god of saints, uh, column and then quotation mark. You are, mean master, yeah. You are me. Uh, truly. Oh, the word is blurred. I was crying or something. <laughs> it truly has been all that. Wow. Yes, in the incarnation list for SMTV. End quote. Wow. Short answer. <laughs> So I say thanks. I thank the Lord of forever, and I say, I promise you that you will forever rule from earth to fourth heaven, all yours. If you tired of it, can also go to New Rim and retire. <laughs> I joke with him. I will get someone to replace you. Uh, don't worry. Only if you wish. Glory to you. Wow. Hell to you for taking all suffer animals to your domain, the God of for level. Love you. Big love. Wow. Thank <laughs> thank you for also taking in good pets, good animals who has served 
in the name of love for others as well. Yeah, hura hura. <laughs> Uh, you want to ask me a question or let me blah blah on like this? <laughs> There's so many. There's still so many. Yes, please. I pray for the North leader. I said, he's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, please help him. The God of Info told me, ask the God of North. <laughs> uh-huh. Each country has the God to, to oversee it. Uh-huh. So, okay, he told me about him, but I don't want to tell you here, okay, huh? Okay. I just pray for him, for the North uh, leader, okay, in my heart. And I wrote it down here. I say he's a good boy. I also pray for Mr. Boris before yeah, in UK yeah. because he has the COVID and then he has to rush to the hospital. So I say he's a good boy. Please uh, help him. Let me take some of his karma if have to be. Oh, so I was so happy a week later or something he came home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Master blessed them. For the north we don't have access so it's all right. I just keep praying and checking inside. But he also it'll be okay, okay? Yes, Master. Also they talk about peace and all that, but I am not convenient to tell you, okay, huh? Okay. Oh I see Oh, no, I cannot tell you this either, okay? Yes, yes. They say, okay, if you want to tell, you have to tell it in code. You cannot tell things openly, not always. But the code I cannot write here, okay? Mm. okay. So, uh, parenthesis, I say, okay, I know, I know, I will do that. Respectful thanks to you, though we are not same status, but love is there, meaning I tell the God of the North who told me this and that. Yeah. And the God of War and all that, God of Info also, I thank them. And then uh, he told me also, love we win. Wow. <laughs> wow. I say, tell me, what kind of love, which love, whose love? <laughs> <laughs> quotation mark again. First, he, quotation mark, love we win, yeah? I say, tell me more about what love, which love. So, quotation mark, yours. <laughs> plus, <laughs> plus beings in the OU. Yeah, you ask good gosses. So, uh, parenthesis, thanks infinitely and love infinitely. And then the many things lead me down to say, wow, heavens and earth and all beings are so concerned and protective, all telling me not move down to where, 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 okay? Because it's not safe. Even spider came tell me that too. Dogs too, of course. <laughs> I humbly thank all for this extraordinary love. May God bless you all and let Him Kutu take you to New Rim where you will be in glory forever, at least to the fourth level. Amen. Love you all so much. X, 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 X. They keep telling me, love will win, even recently. Yes, Master. I thank them for giving me high hope. We understand, yeah. Master. But they told me exactly the day, the month, and the year, and the week. But I don't want to tell you, okay, huh? Yes, yeah. Master. Uh, they told me all this and that, and you know, when it will happen. And then they say, because love will win. So I asked them, I should cast another protective uh, ring around the world. I asked them on a question mark. I don't write it like this. I say original like this. Do cast a giant certain set ring around the world? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say should I cast. You know, I say do cast and question mark. Understand? Yeah. <laughs> That's original language. <laughs> I write it quick and simple. So the one who are responsible for this kind of protective ring, gases, tell me yes. In quotation mark. And I asked, that will help some? Because I had a little doubt. Yes. yes. <gasps> How can such a ring? I did cast them before already, yeah? Yes, uh, last year. Mm. Oh. Last year, but this time I wonder if I should do more because it's getting worse, like the pandemic stuff. Yes. yes. I don't want more people to suffer, you know, children and elderly and innocent people who drag down because of the 
zealous goals to push them into doing wrong thing in order to get this kind of karma. Yes, yes. Yes. Even if the zealous goals do it in their body and the soul, just some stand by, some don't have enough merit for me to help them. Understand? Mm. Or some do or forced to do some bad things. Even if in the zealous goals control or action, they still are responsible somehow. Only some with a good merit and repentance and too innocent, then I can take their souls up. So now uh, the God of the Ring, the Lord of the Ring, told me, yes. <laughs> I say that will help some. So the OU, the Eosco, a Lord of the Ring. <laughs> God says, I don't write Lord of the Ring here, okay? <laughs> but I'm just telling you that, by the way, because now I just think about that. <laughs> So the oh you Lord of the Rings say yes, okay? Okay. Ah. And they say love will win. So I say, where does this love come from? Ah. So the Lord of the Ring <laughs> told me again in a Yosku Gossip of the Ring. All of the gods have responsibility, understand, of different job. Yeah. So this God had the job of uh, taking care of the protective ring. Oh, one moment, I come back, okay? Yes, ma'am. I have to plug in the phone, it has no power. Just plug in the handphone so that you can see me. <laughs> I put myself on the record, so later I give it to you, okay? So you can see me and do what you want with it. Yeah. But even if you don't see me, you know me, right? Yes, ma'am. I look similar to the last time I saw you. <laughs> Just uh, put on a few wrinkles and a few more uh, gray hair, then that's exactly how I look like. (laughs) So where does this love come from? I put the love in quotation mark. So the Lord of the Rings, you know, because we were already in the conversation, so he, by the way, told me, (laughs) Pai-o-yo, mean your love. So I say, yo, what is yo? I didn't know that word before. Uh, I did check some of the the Pusu language, yeah? Yes. But I didn't check all of them. So I say, what's yo? Uh, it's written Y-O-L. Oh. So he told me, yo is mean yours. Ah. Mm-hmm. You and yours, meaning my people, some of my people, meaning the Yosku Gosses, they are truly my people. Yeah. <laughs> the rest are adopted. <laughs> you are adopted. <laughs> but it's the same, it's the same, okay? <laughs> you also help with me. Huh? They are also help with me. So it means your love, my love, yours love. So it means your people, yeah? Yours. So I said, sounds like a nice dream. <laughs> when all love each other, question mark, exclamation mark. And that love will defeat these two? Wow. And it takes... <laughs> I say, oh, it's too long. How many will die meanwhile? Yeah. Four millions, more or less, yeah. yeah. So I said, uh, please, info gossips, tell who heals or know the healing. Too many works. I asked her to tell who can heal, you know, the healing God. So whoever know the healing, she told me. And then I said, oh, too many works. I forgot gossips of info. I forgot. What God is that? <laughs> Who do the healing? So the God of info say, Goddess of world wellness. Wow. wow. I said, I remember now, Goddess of world wellness. I asked her, yeah? I asked the Goddess of world wellness, will world have medicine against this virus or what? Question mark. Goddess of world wellness. Quotation mark. For virus, Vaccine will world zealously develop. <laughs> That's how they say. They should say the world will zealously develop the vaccine for virus, you know? <laughs> so I ask when. So the goddess of world wellness said, Oh God. So I say, Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Exclamation mark, many. Must find better way. Many exclamation mark. Oh. End of that. I wrote here about some snake tried to charm my dog. 
uh, Renai to die also. Oh. That day the snake came there and then Renai was being mesmerized by it and then sit there and listen. So I said to them, take her away quickly. I said to Renai, don't listen, don't listen. Because uh, Renai said the snake told her that if she's willing to die, then it will bring world peace. I said to Renai, no, no, no. God make peace, not dog. Okay, don't listen to the snake. Come here, come back home, quickly, stop it. If you see the snake, you run away, okay? Snake is slower than you. You just run. So now I have to change dog's uh, program, fitting down the hill instead, down uh, on the lower hill uh, rooms instead. But I changed another time already. After I told them, if you see the snake, you will just run. You don't listen. You don't sit there. You listen to them. They are lying. They're cheating. They're working for Maya, for the devil. So the next time when the attendant came to take them out, <laughs> they stay inside my place. And I say, go, go, go. Go out now. It's time to go out and then eat and walk. They say, no, there is a snake outside. We don't want to go out. <laughs> so I had to change their place to another area. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> so cute. Both of them run into my area instead. You know, they have a separate room outside of my other room. I live in one room, they live in another room. Next to each other, there's a connecting big door anyway. So they come in and out, I come in and out. <laughs> the attendants came and they run into my room instead. They say, there's a snake outside. We don't want to go out. <laughs> So cute. I didn't see any snake anywhere, but they could be hiding somewhere. So I changed the place for them to go out and not go into that area anymore. I said to Yosuke, drive all these snakes away from my dogs and my vicinity. And still, you know, the zealous ghosts, they can work from afar. Yeah. They can send snakes there. And, and one almost <laughs> beats me if it's not for the, the bird oh, no. that saved me. When he first came, he was very little, you know, baby bird, and they, I say, oh, this bird, come here, is there any reason? So I was told that he is there to protect me. So I say, how can such a little bird <laughs> protect me? <laughs> I had to protect him many times. I had to pick him up, and he let me. He let me carry him and all that. But I didn't want him to be so used to me. Yes, I want him to enjoy his freedom as a wild bird, so I try not to contact very much. Only when he's in trouble, then I pick him up, bring him somewhere else, put him on high. Uh. Uh, so dog don't chase him, for example, like that. And I gave him initiation, I told him, take care of yourself. <laughs> because he's a wild bird, he should enjoy his freedom to fly around, you know, anywhere he likes, <laughs> and have a girlfriend and all that, <laughs> and children and all that, that was what I was thinking. I don't let myself be too much involved, but I loved him to bit. I loved him so much. Sometimes I call him when I came back to see who, you know, I call him, D, are you still here? Where are you? Where are you? And sometimes he replied to me. He say far, far away. Yeah. Sometimes he say near. It was interesting time. Uh, I met good people, you know. I, I think good people are everywhere. I just uh, don't show up and they don't see him, but they're everywhere. Like I met a good taxi driver, you know. He helped me to, to bring bags of presents running around in, in town because he, he lived there, you know. He's a Muslim. Oh. Yeah. Wow. And he looked like Arabian people, not, not uh, Canadian. I think immigrated, yeah? Yes, yes. And then he, he's the one who know because I asked the taxi driver, cause I don't know anywhere, so the taxi drive in the front and we'd follow him to go to the poor area, yeah? Mm. Yes, my And then he, he helped me to bring bags after bags to different houses, and I helped him to ring the bell, and then we run. <laughs> 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 good teamwork, no? Yeah. <laughs> He's so good, so good, you know. He, do, he does it with, with happiness, yeah. Ah. Uh, and he told me, Muslim people also do this in Ramadan. I said, yeah, I know that. And he asked me if I'm Muslim. I said, yes, also I'm Muslim. I'm Muslim, I'm Catholic, I'm Buddhist, I'm Hindu, <laughs> I'm Sikh, I'm Jainist, uh, I am whatever, a good religion, yeah? I believe all the, of them, so he just laugh. And later he invites me, especially, he begged me to come to his house, and then his wife 
a brew tea for me. Uh, I remember it was sage, sage leaves, yeah? Wow. You know, they dry it and then they make tea of it. Oh, I never tasted such a good tea before. <laughs> and I never knew the sage can make tea, yeah? yeah? So when I came back to Europe later on, I, I tried to buy some sage mm. in the back and I make some tea, but it don't taste as good. <laughs> Maybe I didn't know how, and, you know, the amount has to be correct, yeah? yeah? And maybe the Muslim lady, she she brew it with all the love, okay? Yeah. Because her husband told her what I did and did, and she so respectful to me, yeah? And invite me some cake, cookies, yeah? And I make sure I ask if there's egg or not, and so I did not eat, yeah? So they bring something without egg. I forgot what it was anymore, okay? Yes. Uh-huh. And later, because of all this donation, I give all the cash that I had, okay? And borrow some as well from some of your brothers and sisters in Canada at that time. I returned, though. I think it's about 60,000 uh, US dollars, yes. I asked some uh, accountant to wire it back to them, yes. Anyway, because of that, when I hire a private jet to go back to Europe, I didn't have enough money to... to <laughs> to pay, so I own something. And the pilots, they were so good, they let me. I say, I will pay you as soon as I land because my people will come and fetch me and I will have money then, okay, to give you some cash. So they trust and let us come up. I had to hide because I have dog and I had to, to run quick because something happened that will not be so favorable for me, yeah. Some people, they do some drug and something and they look for some similar uh, situation, you know, and though I know nothing about it, uh, I run. Yeah, I run because uh, they asked me, uh, did you have anything to do with that? You know, some people who knew me and I said, no, of course not. I don't even know about it. And so I had to run before I get in trouble. Yes, yeah. Danger just look anywhere for me, any time like that. You never knew. Yes, master. That was my lawyer who even asked me like that. Oh. I mean, the lawyer, I just knew, you know. I thought maybe I stay in Canada. I like Canada, you know. They, I like the people. They are peaceful, you know. And and they're just uh, benevolent, yeah. They are not so warlike. Yes, yeah, they're not aggressive. They are just so peaceful, yeah. The lawyer is supposed to help me. <laughs> but then he read something on the newspaper, and he told me, I, because some Asian did it, okay, they, they plant something with the green leaf that people uh, eat or smoke with it. Marijuana. Ah, ha, ha. It's not cocaine, I remember. Marijuana, yeah? Yes, they yes. told me that they plant some of that in the houses, you know, yes. and so to sell. Do you have anything to do with it? I say, no, no, of course not. <laughs> I, I'm vegan and I don't do such thing. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I don't do anything that's harmful to others. But still, you know, to ask me that question, yeah. uh, I run. Yeah. That's why I don't want to stay there and go to, to clear my name. I'm scared that I cannot clear my name, even if I do nothing wrong. Oh, so scary. So I run. So I hide the, the, the quickest possible airplane, small one. So they jump from one island to another. They take 24 hours to get to Europe. Wow. Yeah, and my four dogs, you know, yeah, etc., etc. Yeah. Anyway, it's okay. It's good. At least we arrived safe, and so many things I cannot tell you more. Okay, huh? Yes, master. So uh, good people everywhere, but uh, it's also dangerous. Uh, I, later, I realized that I was uh, too uncareful. I go everywhere and give uh, donation. You know, I didn't think it was so big, but for other people. They think it's very big because they didn't have them before. Like Salvation Army, seen that I gave them $8,000, but I didn't think it's big, but for them it's big. Uh, apart from all the clothes and stuff, gifts, chocolate and all that, so it's, it was kind of a talk of the town. And the police uh, even checked me whether or not I had a stolen good. So later they found out I bought it in the market, not the market that mentioned in this newspaper. Because I think one or two more newspapers also wrote about it, okay? I didn't know. Only this newspaper, they caught me red-handed. <laughs> yeah, 
I will tell you why later, okay? I, th- I thought I remember, I told already, but why you ask again? Maybe some detail I did not. So if I did already, pretend you didn't hear and laugh, okay? <laughs> so I feel encouraged <laughs> to tell you more. We want to know more, Master. Okay. Uh, so many things, so I don't know if I can tell you in order, you know? So, uh, so the police even checked me out, and then they found out that the credit card is, is true, and it's in my name, you know, otherwise nobody even knew my name. But then uh, they, they kept quiet because they know I didn't want to be open about it. Because when I went to the fire uh, station, they asked my name and all that to say thank you or all that. I said, no, no, I don't need God gives, not I give, okay? Yeah. So please, I'm just a postman. <laughs> <laughs> I said, when, when did the postman ever have his name or her name printed together with the giver? <laughs> so I say, I'm just a postman, yeah? Postwoman, you know, delivery. <laughs> and so they, they all smile and so I just let go. But later they doubt it, they go check me, you know, the police. Because somehow it's big, so I, I am too uncareful sometimes like that. It, it happened all the time also, but I always forget. When I see something I had to do, I forget everything else. I forget myself and I max my cart, so I don't even have enough to pay for the airplane. And I borrow, but they also did not have. I had to run fast. I cannot ask everybody or the disciple to lend me money. I didn't have time. Gosh, yes. I booked the airplane and it come almost like right away. I have to pack my things, my dog things. And I think two or three brothers accompany me and their credits are lousy, you know, 2,000 <laughs> <laughs> or 500. Oh, well, never mind. At least they have our names and the passport, so they trust me. I said, I have money, sir. Maybe they knew that I'm the lady who donates. Yeah. Because a blonde Chinese looking like lady, they don't see it often. Hair yeah, blonde, you know. Even though the newspaper begged me for photo, I say, okay, okay, then you take only the back, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that you, yeah. oh, that is some credit for you, you know, for your newspaper. So they, they took my photo on the back only. They really respect my wish. But even then, the next morning, I went to another shop to, to buy an other clothes because the Salvation Army told me some men are too too big, too tall, homeless men, very tall. Nothing of them fit. So I had to go special shop. He told me where. And when they are buying some <laughs> special long pan, long big jacket for them, you know. And one or uh, two people, they said, oh, you are the lady who donate, you know, on the newspaper and TV. I said, how, 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 how you know? I said, we see your photo. I said, photo, only on the back. And he said, yeah, but you can recognize. Yes. I guess because I also bought the, the special clothes. I'm an Asian lady. Why should I buy such an extra, excess ex, 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 large? For whom? <laughs> Only for Canadian, right? So anyway, so they said, thank you. You are very nice, very good. I said, yeah, God is very good <laughs> to me. <laughs> I'm trying to, to help God to share his love on earth. So, and then I, I run quick. <laughs> before they call newspapers again. <laughs> That's why I was caught. Uh, that was, uh, I think, the third time or fourth time. Then I'm caught, okay? Uh, the other time, they did not have a chance, you know, to, to tell quick enough. I, I run fast. That day, I was still buying uh, stuff, you know, toys and stuff for, for kids. It was a uh, take longer time because I have to order some special one for one kid who, who really loved to have one special toy. And they told me, so we have to order that and take some time, you know. Some special person have to come and ask me to fill in form. So I asked the brother to fill in the form. I don't want to fill in my form. <laughs> I don't want, so it's okay. But I still pay. Uh, at that time, I still have some cash and I pay some credit cards. Uh, my credit card, you cannot take a lot of, of, of cash on one day. So I have to pay with a with credit card. I did not want to. Mm. But my credit card doesn't give me enough money to to pay for what I wanted to buy every day. I have some, but not, not enough. So when I went uh, on the airplane, I, I cannot even let any disciple in Canada know. I run. Understand me? I don't want to make noise, and I have to run fast as possible. For the smallest airplane, and it bumpy, bumpy, and my stomach went to my heart, and... My dog fell from the higher level to the floor. Lucky she didn't get hurt. 
we put her in the case, even still, and with me together, thank God, you know. Yes. Because the airplane don't have room for, on the back, so they all sit together with me. But in the case, but we don't have enough room, so we pile them on top of each other. And because it bumps, bumpy so much, bad weather, winter, you know. Uh, so what was that then, April? Like January was this article. Oh, then, no wonder, of course. Oh, it's winter, yes. Oh, it's still winter and very cold, and it, so the weather is very bumpy. Lucky it took us. I thought we'd never net get an airplane in this kind of weather, but maybe they were desperate or something. They just took us even though we credit with some money, don't have. Uh, yeah, I'm just busy body. Spent all my money, didn't think that I would need it. I spent until I could not, I maxed my card, you know, and all the cash is gone. Uh, Andrew, yeah. the article says, you emptied rack after rack at the store. <laughs> yeah. You filled like truckloads of the toys for the fire department. Yeah, that was a different day. The toys for a fire department was another day before. And that day the newspaper did not catch me. <laughs> that day I was still buying and I take, take some time in, in the shop because of the special order. And then one of the men outside the shop or inside the shop saw me. I don't know where he came from. Uh, when the journalist came, I saw him. I didn't know she was a journalist. I saw her taking out $20 and give it to him. And then she went to me immediately and asked me this and that and say that she is a journalist for watching what newspaper and uh, want to interview me. <laughs> I say it's not much to say. You know what I'm doing already, right? She said, yeah, you're buying things for people, right? I said, yeah, so then no need to interview anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, I have to work to do. I said, no, please, please, let let me, you know, follow you for a while and all that. Uh, I said, please, but no photograph and no name. And I said, keep pleading until I tell her my name. And then she saw my phone and she said, you have so much money to give out and you use the outdated phone. It's not an iPhone, okay? It was a very small phone uh, before, you know, our, our fashion phone. And with the duct tape on it. <laughs> so I said, well, my dog, he, he ate it. <laughs> I said, I'm lucky to get it back on time, otherwise it would be gone. <laughs> yeah, but he drew wet, uh, and then it takes some time to dry the battery in order to use it again, you know? <laughs> yeah, battery or, or SIM, I don't remember. And then I taped it. I said, it's still functioning. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> and she looked at me, and it's like she shake, shake her head a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> And maybe she thought, this lady, I don't know what planet she came from. She <laughs> must be cuckoo, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, that day she cost me because somebody report because I took too long time in that shop. Uh, many things to buy. Yeah. Buying the toys and then more toys. And uh, uh, the truck toys went already. And then buy more toys. And then more clothes. That's why she kept following me. We had a few cars, you know? So that day we don't have truck. We could not rent any truck, and we didn't think we'd buy a lot. We bought a SUV car, yes, yes. car and loaded it in front and back. And so I squeezed between the gifts, <laughs> between the bags also, and the back seat just squeezing with, <laughs> with bags also, <laughs> like airbag, you know. Yeah, that's safe in case the car had from problem. I never had any problem. All the bags surrounding me. <laughs> When I went to Halifax afterward, we had problem. Yeah, the snow was so bad that the airplane returned to the airport. Wow! And uh, we have, oh, we have many pets there and other things, so that I cannot leave only one guy alone at home. Yes. And new, don't know how to feed dogs and how to wear warm dog clothes before I go out in the snow. The snow was so deep, I had to go back from Halifax back to Saint John. So the airplane stop, don't go. The airplane, uh, you know, say, okay, we we have a hotel for all of you. You stay here, and tomorrow the weather will be fine. We take you back home. All of the customers stay except me. I say I have to go. So I went out. They don't refund, no, because I volunteer to go. It's not their fault, you see. I don't ask either. I say I have to go, and then so they told me. Uh, but you get nothing, huh? I said, okay, never mind, don't worry, just let me go. <laughs> and then they said, but the weather is so bad, you, you cannot go, you cannot go. Before that, I went to Halifax because there's one man, he has frostbite with his fingers. 
he has no gloves and has to go to hospital and bandage all over and his feet also. And so I heard that, oh, my heart sank, you know, so I bought him stuff, yeah. Originally, I want to send by post, and but nobody know where he live. Oh. Yeah, nobody know because he's a homeless man. Yes, master. I said, then I have to go to Halifax. I'm sure somebody must know because the TV reports about it. So maybe I have to go there and ask. They probably know or something, some charity somewhere. Somebody must know him. So I went to Halifax by airplane, but came back by taxi. The taxi driver, she's the only one who dare took me because nobody wants to go in this weather. Oh. You know, you can't even see the road in front of you. But I said, I had to go, my pet. So she agreed to, I said, I pay you double, triple. And she agreed to go because of the money. I say, oh, thank God, very good of you. And then she drive just uh, maybe half a kilometer, a few hundred meters, and then she bum and then bury herself and us into a snow uh, mountain. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, and luckily we get our hour and dig, 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 and then we came out. So I said to my attendant at that time from Costa Rica, I said, you drive. I cannot trust this woman now. Maybe she's too tired driving all day already. And this time she's supposed to not driving anymore, you know, rest. But uh, because of us, she, she did feel sorry for us, so she took us. Yeah. Also, we pay her, her well. But I could not blink my eyes because I have to drive with him. Yes, yes, master. Left, right, straight. No, no, no. Slow, slow. Now, okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Go, but slow, slow, slow. All night, you know. I don't know how many hours from St. John to Halifax. Uh, it's the night, even. Yes, Master. At night. And what did the taxi driver did? She sit on the back, I sit in the front. Yeah, I have to watch. And keep him awake as well. Uh, we have to talk and keep him awake. I sing, I talk, I direct the traffic. <laughs> Him only, nobody on the roads, at least, thank God. Né? And it slide and it slipped and it veer left, right, etc. I should not have done that. But I had confidence. But before that, we were successful in asking people and found that homeless man gave him some money. Incredible. But I told him, don't tell anybody, okay? Yeah. It's better for you, just for you. Don't tell people that you have money, cash is dangerous, okay? I can't give him check, can I? <laughs> <laughs> so I gave him, I think, some thousands of dollars in cash, and then clothes and gloves and hat and mutts and socks and shoes, yeah? Wow. Boots. He's a homeless man, but somebody give him a storage room to, to live in. And a church charity know that. So asking, 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 one person say to another and another, another, and we landed in there and we ask somebody to please call the church father and his wife. They came, a very humble couple. Yeah, They do charity, you understand? They help the homeless. So they know where he is. So they took us to that storage room where he lives. It's not a room at all. He has a broken sofa they gave him, uh, better than nothing. And all around him are chairs and all kind of furniture. He has only that sofa and a few meters to go to the toilet. That's it. A few meters, but zigzag. Yes. Yeah, and a warm stove or something to cook, that's all. And he lived there, but at least he's warm. Why he has frostbite? Because he went out to look for a job, for work. Yeah, even work for food, but he didn't have anything to cover himself. I remember it was 40 degree minus. Oh. Some day 30, but some day less. Some day more than 40. I remember something like that, yeah? 30 is one more day, yeah? But I remember 40 less degree. I said, I can't believe people live in such weather. I said to my attendants, and I can't believe that I could even walk. You know, from the car to the shop, I thought I would freeze to death in such a weather, you know, before I imagined. 40 minus is unbelievable to live in. Yes. Yeah. And you can't even go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, and go do my hair. <laughs> so, so I say, oh, that man, he must suffer so much if he doesn't have any gloves and socks. I had to go. If I don't go, I will suffer mentally. Imagining how suffering he, he has to endure, I would suffer more. Imagining it, yeah, and not doing anything. So I, I left, and that's how it happened. So luckily we went back on time, paid the lady the money, get her a hotel room so she can rest until morning. Then she can drive. You know, I say, you better sleep. You don't go back now. You better sleep until the weather is better. Uh, safe, then you drive. She said, okay, okay. So we booked her in the hotel, paid for it, and then let her there, and then we we say goodbye. Somebody came in and get us, at least can have telephone contact. <laughs> I thought I told you all this story already, but I'm not sure. Okay, uh, anything else you want to know? Master, it was just so touching that you traveled all the way to Halifax, like just for one person and in that dangerous weather. Yeah, no. And it's like in the article, it quotes the store manager yeah. who was um, watching Master fill up the carts. And he said, it's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this, never. Uh, uh, and I've been here five years. Uh, uh, even our business accounts, nothing uh, like this. Uh, <laughs> so even like the businesses who do charity, it, it was not comparable to what Master was doing. So it's really remarkable. That's not a charitable shop. There are different shops. So we're talking about the church in St. John is the Salvation Army. Yes. They, they do charitable shop. And the one that I bought from their top class uh, uh, clothing shop. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I also donate because originally we just want to give the clothes and go, but the major of the Salvation Army, he told me about the land next door, that if he could buy it, it would be good for something. Maybe he can have a shelter for the homeless or something, I forgot. So I gave him money to buy the land. It's quite cheap, I'm surprised. Maybe because his is a charitable organization, so they probably give him cheaper price or something, yeah. And then there's another, it's a different organization. And I, I give them also cash because I cannot get uh, much more money out. Whatever I can get out of that day, I give to them or more, more than what I get out. I think I can get about only 20,000 Canadian dollars per day. Yeah, I, I never need so much, so I never ask for more. And lucky that I had credit card right? before I never had. I was in America without anything. Uh, and my money, my disciple will have a big bank account there. And when I say I want to join her, they say, you want to take her money, don't you? That's why you want to join. Oh. <laughs> yeah, then they didn't let me. They didn't let me to make a joint account with her. There was my money and she took it uh, from Taiwan for me some time ago. All disciples have money. <laughs> <laughs> my business, uh, they control. They are manager this and that. I hardly had anything before. Okay. Now I, I do have some just so that I can show to the world that I'm not here or there to eat your your food. <laughs> I'm able to take care. Sometimes for alphantite residents, for bureaucracy, for paperwork. Otherwise I don't see any money coming. <laughs> Yeah, of course, but I'm not lacking of anything. If I need, of course, I can ask, but I hardly need anything. I don't like asking. Anything dependency is really against my nature, <laughs> against my religion. <laughs> they say that, yes. So if I ask uh, and don't have, then I don't ask anymore. Yes. Yes. Or if it's not done automatic, then I don't ask. Mm. Yeah, I don't need much. Oh, you see my clothing and beautiful and all that, I just wear it for work. It's like uniform, you know, yeah. <laughs> special uniform. The rest, uh, I don't need much. I can wear cheap clothes, simple and comfortable. Yes. Yes. So I don't really need much. Even when I was not a master, you know, I was starving for three days in Paris without job, oh. without job, looking for a job. I still don't tell the people 
that uh, I don't have money. The the people who who took me in uh, to work there, and when I quit for some uh, sentimental reason, uh, they asked me if, if I want some money. I said, Oh no, no, thank you. It's okay. I didn't want them to misunderstand. I was in love with the house man that time. <laughs> I told you this story already, yeah, because his wife is very ungentle to him. He's a doctor, he's busy already, and go home, have to do this, do that for the kid. Yeah, and she could do it, but it's not like she tells him nicely, say, hey, do this, hey, go do that, like ordering. So I feel sympathetic with him, and then <laughs> that turns slowly into like, Romance, but I didn't know. But I, I caught control until he broke it, and then I had to run. Yes. Because now I knew that he also has a feeling for me, then I cannot stay. It will be dangerous. If alone, me alone, then I can control, but I'm young. <laughs> so I say I have to go, because I quit immediately. I don't have anywhere to stay and no money at all. A student, just have a few dollars to go with bus, but not enough to even buy bread. If I buy bread, I have no money to go anywhere to look for a job. So three days I had nothing. And then I was walking in the park, yeah, looking for a job still, you know, and the man came and offered me 800 francs, French money at that time. I don't know how much US dollar, maybe half of it. 800 to go with him. So I say, if you don't leave, I call police. Huh? Then I look serious, so, so he, he left me. At least he's decent, you know? Very decent, yeah. Even when I was younger, still, in Vietnam, you know, I, I went to some area and, and I had not much money, you know, students, you know. And the owner of the house, friend of a friend, let me stay. And they prepare the food and leave it for me. I didn't know if they left for me or not, because they left before I, I'm out of my room. So I did not dare eat it. So I went out, just eat uh, bread, <laughs> bread and drink water. So to ask something for me is very, I don't feel comfortable. Yes, Master. And that's why if I can do it, you see now I, I clean my own house, <laughs> I wash my own clothes by hand. Oh, Master. Because mm. I don't want to ask uh, our electrician to come and install the, the machine for me. I dislike asking, number one. Number two, I'm in retreat. I don't want anybody to come and disturb my energy. Even if people bring the food, um, mostly they have to put it far away, you know, outside the gate, something like that. Sometimes they bring near some special situation, but mostly they have to put far away before the gods even remind me to be nine meters away <laughs> from anybody, any of the workers, my staff, including you. Yes, Master. Sorry if I offend you. Even the gods remind me that. Yes, Master. I knew, but I asked them why. I knew, but normally I knew vaguely. I don't even go into detail, thing like this, you would know. No need to even go into uh, research to know why. All the different uh, energy, different magnetic field, it disturbs. And then you have to begin all over again, at least for a few days, to pacify the energy around you. Wow. That sometimes they come because misunderstand or something like that, start at me, and then everything go bad. It's very difficult to concentrate again and all kind of things. A snake came and ants come in in tons instead of before, only a few. Uh, insects run and bite and all kind of things happen, okay? Or oh, this broken, that broken, yeah? Mm. Then I have to start it to clean it up again. That's why I'd rather wash my own clothes by hand <laughs> and do all things myself, clean the room myself. But I'm in a smaller area now, smaller than the storehouse before. Much smaller, so it's easier to manage, even though with ants. <laughs> I like small things, small house, because I do things myself. I don't want a big room to have to clean and sweep all day, every day. And just uh, a room with everything in it. I eat in it, sleep in it, have a sofa and telephone and a small little shower room and toilet. That's perfect already. In France, that's where I live in also, even though if I have house. Yes. I live in a cave also, or I live in a small storeroom, even smaller than here. Oh, I think you saw it. Yes. yes sir. In France, yeah? In SMC, behind the SMC a storeroom. Like uh, one meter per one and a half, something like that. Or one meter or two. 
by two, one by two, something like that. Enough for me already. <laughs> I'm small. <laughs> Even if I'm taller, you're not supposed to lay down sleep. So what's the problem, huh? <laughs> The reason I have sofa and not meditate on the floor because of so and at least they did not crawl on the sofa that many. Easy to manage. If I sit on the floor, they will crawl all over me, or I might be uh, hurting them. Yes. When I meditate, I cannot sweep. I sweep only when, when I'm not <laughs> meditating. <laughs> yes. And because of the sofa, I saved my life once in that storeroom before. If I wasn't on the sofa, then the snake would have bitten me already. Oh. Because he was under my sofa, wow. under my, my seat area. The reason I get up because I wanted to write something, I want to go to the desk in a corner to take a pen. So I use the mobile phone to turn on the flashlight, to go to the switch to turn on the light. And meanwhile, I heard, not turn off light, stay away from sofa. Oh. That's exactly the word the spider told me. Oh, he's big. He's like my hand spread out. Wow. Yeah, uh, seldom I saw such a big spider. All the postmen are smaller. <laughs> That's their job. But I am very touched sometimes because they have to stay where you see them so that they can pass on the message. But most humans are deaf already. They cannot hear nothing. Oh. Telepathy is just a dream now, too far gone. So they are postmen, understand me? <laughs> yes. Yeah, they deliver messages to help humankind. But a human, oh, if they see them, they just squash them. Aww. I don't do that. Yeah. I did not know spider or postman before. Wow. Yeah, until recently. Even when I fit the spider outside my small little room before, yes. I did not know they are postmen. Wow. Yeah. I mean, because I had not much to do with them. Only when I pay attention to them, then I listen to them. Only that urgent moment that he is very loud and it took such a big spider to wake my attention. Wow. And from then on, I listen when they come, and they come many times now telling me things. Sometimes good things, sometimes to pay attention. Don't go out, the snakes are waiting to bite you. I say, really? So what will happen to me if he bite? He said, you will be dead. Oh. If it's poison, maybe I have no time to, to react. Within one hour, if nobody take you to the hospital, you die. Mm. Poison snakes like that. And I don't always have a phone with me to call anybody. Number one, number two, maybe it numbs you, it paralyzes you. It depends on where it bites you. Yeah. Yeah. And then you will never have a chance to, to call anybody. You will just die like that, quietly. At night, you guys don't go around too much, okay? Okay, Master. You never know. They should be afraid of all of you, but I, I don't want to risk. Yes, Master. Not every snake wants to bite me. I saw two of them. They run so fast away from me. <laughs> but I don't feel any bad intention from them. I feel they're so lovely. Yes. I feel they're so cute and like they're my family member. Yes, Master. I feel like they're just like my dog. If they be around, I would pet them or they would want me petting them. That's what the feeling is. So I, I never pay attention. Uh, I rescued many snakes before. They never wanted to harm me. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes they told me, we didn't want to, sorry, sorry. We didn't want to scare you even. Oh. Yeah. After the zeal has gone, they told me, sorry, sorry. Oh. Yeah, that one, okay? So anyway, I let him out and he's sorry, sorry. Oh. Now that one almost bite me. This one I didn't see until the bird killed her. All gone, all disappeared. The rest of the snake are taken care of by other insects. Whenever I pass by, I don't see it. Before, I still see some part. Now I don't see anymore. Gone. Maybe also the rain washed it away sometime, or other insects, they share. If I did not sit on that sofa, I would be gone, because he was under my sofa exactly where I sat. Wow. And his head already rising up. I saw it. Wow. And then I saw it when I, I turned the light on. And then I understood why the spider told me not turn off light. He did not say, don't turn off the light. He said, not turn off light, leave the sofa. Because I wanted to go back to the sofa to write my diary there. Yes. Normally, I clip a pen onto my diary, yeah? Yes. 
Yes. But so that day it dropped somewhere, so I got up and went to go to my desk to take the pen. And that's how I turned on the light. And oh, luckily I did. If I just sat there a few more seconds, the snake would be able to raise his head up and mm. finish me off oh peacefully. Goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness for the spider. Yeah, the spider, he was so big. And oh, his eyes was like two small flashlights. Wow. wow. To like, there are some points of light. There are some people who sell this like a flashlight, but it's in one point only. Oh, yes. How you call that kind of light? A laser uh, pointer. One time, that laser pointer saved my life also. There was one guy who hiding outside my house some other time in France. And I saw something shining, like a gun or something, a blade or something. Oh. And reflecting the moon. So I used this, uh, somebody just gave me, I don't know for what reason. Ah, I think to play with my dogs. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> because uh, Goody, remember, he liked to play with shadow and anything that move around. <laughs> yes. So I used it sometimes to play with him. That night, it was uh, almost midnight already, I used that light to point at that area where I saw uh, vaguely something flashing, gleaming and the car with no light on. Yeah. So I point uh, my pinpointer light there, and that car immediately start the engine and run. Oh, wow. Wow. If it's good people, they don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yes, yes. Maybe that person think I have a laser gun or something. <laughs> Are there such a gun that you have such a pinpointer like a gun? Yes. 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 Talking about a cave woman, I don't know nothing about gun. <laughs> oh, maybe, yeah, so, because immediately the car start the engine and run so fast. No, I don't think it's a good person. What for? He stay alone there, yeah. in the dark and next to my house, in the garden, dark corner like that, and run immediately yeah. and run fast. <laughs> wow. Ooh. I could write some books, huh? Yes. yes. And the Hollywood will buy it for me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> to make like, what? Suspense movie, you call it? Yes, Master. Or what? Like a thriller movie. Thriller, yeah. Thriller or suspense, huh? Yes. Yeah, and I would earn a lot of money, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I have money to write this thing. <laughs> well, maybe you guys just patch them up all together and write it for me. <laughs> and then we share the money, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I promise I will share with you. I won't take it all. <laughs> huh? Yeah, we have some scheme, huh? <laughs> we girls, yeah, like money, don't we? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's why you quit your job, come in here, work for food. <laughs> and that's why I pay for my own job. <laughs> and more. <laughs> I pay, for, pay for my own television and earn nothing. <laughs> yeah, we cannot do business, we we'll lose. Yeah, yes. we we'll lose business for sure. No? Mm. Okay, now tell me what else you want, because I can talk. Oh, you guys are happy today, eh? very inspiring. So I talk a lot. Yeah, tell me. I'm sure you have more and more questions, or not? Yes, Master. Yeah, sure, tell me. Master created Tim Quotu's new spiritual land more than 63 million years ago. Mm. When did Master create the fourth and fifth levels? Was it before the new land was created? The fourth and the fifth level, they existed. They uh, dripping down power from the tenth uh, council level before. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Remember I told you in Hungary? Yes, yes Master. Master. 63 plus million years ago, the new realm was created, but not the fourth and the fifth level. These uh, already existed. The fourth and the fifth levels, like other levels, they have been there. They have been created long, 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 no one can even remember before, before the new realm, of course. That's why we call that the new realm, okay? The other ones are old realms. But at that time, when I told you in Hungary, I did not even remember Tim Kutu and my new rim, okay? Wow. At that time, I wasn't up yet. I only know what I knew every level I go, okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> so if you asked me a few years ago, 
you know Tim Kotu? Is it related to you? I said, oh, <laughs> no, never heard of it. Total stranger. <laughs> Master, also in relation to the creation of the new spiritual land, according to scientists, the dinosaurs had become extinct around 65 million years ago and 60% of species had disappeared. 65 million years ago, huh? Were you around 65 million years ago, Master? Uh, other planet. Oh. Actually, I was uh, on this planet and on other planets. Sometimes on this planet, sometimes on other planets. Come and go, come and went. It depends on the situation, depends on the need of the time. Interesting. And what prompted Master to create the new spiritual land around that time? Oh, because I already knew some beings. I already begin to repair wow. the the planets and the universes, all the planets. Yeah, wow. <sighs> they have no one else. So, if they die, they will go to hell or suffer again as uh, suffering human or animals or whatever. Yes. Yeah? So I had to help them, no? and then we created that. Wow. Just for my own people. <laughs> you have to know, many masters did that or will do that. In between each established world, there are a buffer zone. Just like I told you, between the three worlds and the fifth level, there are a buffer zone called the fourth level, yeah? Yes. That you can use as a free land, a no man land. Oh. Some Buddhas, some Bodhisattva create some land there for their own disciples, believers. Oh. And between every level, there are a buffer zone, vast and massive and unattainable, understand? If you are there without anyone, you will be lost. You can never find your way out. Wow. So if you want to go to the fifth level, for example, you need a master to take you across the fourth level. Wow. It's too vast for anyone to even know anywhere. Without your own light, that zone will be dark. Without all the beings light there, that zone is that is just a buffer zone, okay? Oh. So just like between astral level and the second level, there is also a buffer zone. Yeah, oh. some good beings, a master create some heavens there for their own people, for the good people, believers of this master or this good being. That remind me, there is a film, Astro City. Yes, yes, Astro yeah, yeah. It's a true story. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, except it's more beautiful, more splendid, the glorious and radiant and, and shining and brighter than that, and beautiful being there. Wow. No old people. <laughs> when you go there, you become young again, wow. and you become healed again. No matter if you are handicapped or terminally ill, you become young and healthy and happy over there. <laughs> yes. That's another buffer zone that some master created to rescue some redeemable souls from this planet. Oh. Mm. So all the between zones have been used to create different kind of heavens for different people, apart from the heavens already exist, from the masters, from different levels of master. They create different heavens. If uh, not too high, then they create at lower level. But also depends on the affinity or whom and which uh, level of beings they want to rescue. Understand? Yes. Yes. If people repent, they go straight to heaven, just like that? Uh, this lifetime, yes, but not so, not like that, like that. <laughs> <laughs> the God of the four level, I have made uh, a request with him to, to take in these people, to be either his citizen or to you know, transit for a while until I clean them up enough to go up because these kind of people they cannot just go straight up to to Tim Kutu land. Still have some residues of bad karma, of sin and ego. Even on the fifth level, you still have one percent ego. So I uh, request the Lord of the Four Level to take them in, and the Lord of the Four Level, of course, he can check who truly repent, who not. Oh, yeah. yes. You cannot just say, "Oh, I repent, I repent," and and kneel there and ask for forgiveness, and it's done. It's not like that. It has to be from the heart, truly repent, truly remorseful. And uh, uh, my guardians, the Yosku Gosses, yes. uh, also check them out, okay? Wow. Maybe you can cheat me. 
<laughs> but you you cannot fool them. So it depends. If they truly repent and have remorse and truly want to go back to their original self, you know, to their own self nature, to be near God, to know God more, then they can. But not just say, okay, they repent and look like repent and no, 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 no. Even the disciple also cannot. If the disciples make trouble for anyone or for me, they get punishment even worse because they know the right, but they do the wrong, especially if they do wrong to the Master. But I forgive them and I try very hard <laughs> to help them. But sometimes they have to undergo punishment. For long or short, it depends. depends on what they have in their heart. Oh, yes. yes, Master. Sometimes their level is too low from hell, near hell or something, so it takes some time and they still can do harm to me. Yeah, intentionally. Yes. And these are very difficult to help. It's really a great sacrifice to help these kind of people. You have to exchange and sometimes cannot even. Yes, yes, Master. Because of the fairness of the universe, yeah? Yes, Master. Some people, they do wrong, but they have remorse and they didn't want to do it. They just uh, too ignorant to forget to think or being too influenced by others or a bad ghost or something. Then it's easy to, to rescue them. Or better than disciples who do bad things to the Master. That's why the Buddha say, whoever harmed the Buddhas, you know, go to relentless hell. I mean, forever. Yeah. yeah. Nobody can help them, not even the Buddha himself. Yeah. Remember uh, Maura Golayana? His mother uh, slandered the Buddha, yeah? And the Sangha, and she went to great hell like that, and the Buddha did not uh, want to help her. Or could not, and ask all the Shangha to help. Remember, yes. yes. All his disciples to help with a lot of rituals and offering, and and Mora Gaulayana repent and, and help and go up and down to the hell to visit and to lend his energy. Yes. yes. Okay. Did I answer everything already? I mean, so far your your question. Yes, Master. Mm, good. With the zealous demons turning some COVID-19 victims into zombies or half-zombies for Alzheimer's patients, mm. does that mean there could never be a cure for them? Up to now, no. Mm. Are there any other diseases that aren't truly diseases like Alzheimer's, but the negative workings of the zealous demons? Oh, quite a few. I, have, I haven't checked into them. If I have checked, I will tell you another time, okay? Okay. Yeah. I, I don't have enough time to... <laughs> to check out good things already and, and all the things around here, so I didn't dig into those negative things too much, okay? Also, according to karma, you know, in Vietnam we say, we say like, uh, even the ghosts who want to catch you, they have to look at your face first, meaning seeing whether or not you have good aura, ah. whether or not you have good merit. They cannot just uh, at random um, uh, get people like that. It's not allowed, okay? Some people do look innocent, but they are not all innocent, okay? Yes. Not inside and not the karmic way. Mm -hmm. They did something wrong in the past life in order for them to, to get uh, stuck with uh, zealous demons or get uh, caught by them. But by the no means, it's not their intention. Whoever reborn again in in the human life, they truly wanted to make it up for for their last life. Understand? Yes. Yes. They truly repented and want to to do good. It just when when we come into this body, we forgot many things. Yes. We cannot continue to to do what we wanted to do. Oh. We we do wrong instead. You understand? Yes. And then temptation and zealous demons and all this stuff, and the hardship of survival, yes. Yes. so to make us do wrong. And then if you do something wrong, you attract wrong, attract wrong, wrong kind of people, wrong kind of situation, wrong kind of, of ghosts. Yes. That's why merit is utmost important. Moral is, is your shield in this world. Yes, yes, Master. Of course, God helps you, but you got to help yourself also, ne? Yes. If you're hungry and God put a bowl of rice in front of you, you have to eat it. Yes, Master. 
not ask God to eat it for you as well, no? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The best English professor tell you how to learn to speak English, but you have to do your homework, huh? Yes. Mm. Remember I told you the joke about the guy who bought the apparatus so that he can speak any language in three weeks? Yes. <laughs> he thought he just bought it and then he can speak. <laughs> he didn't even touch it. I don't know. I never opened it. <laughs> but these two guys, they are so good. Especially the dum dum guy. The voice is so dum dum. <laughs> the same, but it doesn't work. I can't speak one word of Russian. You know, he acted so real. I like it very much. There are a couple of them are truly good. You know, <laughs> truly get into the character, yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah, cute. I saw some guys, you know, before. You know, their voice are truly representative <laughs> of the joke, of the dum dum part. <laughs> yeah. Like the guy who, who put the umbrella upside down because <laughs> cause the wind blow it upside down. <laughs> And then he returned the umbrella, say, when it's windy and rainy, you know, the umbrella uh, turned upside down and I have to hold it upside down and I'm getting all wet. <laughs> I have to hold the handle upside down above my head and my hand got all wet. Oh, the voice is so cute. Okay, what else then? Did I answer you? Yes. Mm, okay. Uh, about the disease. Oh, we don't delve into it, it's the best. The reason why I know about the Alzheimer because of COVID-19, because of the zealous goals I'm dealing with right now, understand? Yes. Uh, at that time, or up to now, understand? Yes, yes. And that's why I know that's what they did also to people. Otherwise, I don't have time to check all the goals and all the disease and what, what. That my soul also will do. My higher self is taking care of many things. But in this physical body, I take care of some physical things, okay? Yes, well, my higher self do other things. My higher self cannot wash my clothes for me, so I do it. <laughs> <laughs> the master cannot sweep the ants out for me, so I do it. Oh. The master cannot uh, mop the floor for me, so I do it, almighty or not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ultimate master or not. I mean, they cannot do this, you know? Even God cannot mop the floor for me, so I do it. God does His thing already. Don't ask God about everything, for everything. We have to do our part in whatever situation we are in, or whichever planet we are in. Yes. Yeah, okay. What else? Master, even though we feel very safe compared to the rest of the world, yes. Master's remind us to still take precautions. Made it clear just how serious this pandemic is, mm -hmm. but governments have now relaxed restrictions, mm. and some people outside are not protecting themselves as they should. I cannot do anything about it. They bow to pressure, okay? Yes. Yes. And they cannot keep paying forever also. The people, they stay in their home, they feel suffocated. They went out on the street and making protests. So some government's area bow to that pressure. Yes, yes. So who live, will live. Who die, will die. Okay? Yes, yes. The gods already told you how many millions. But you probably will not have this report about how many millions. They don't always report yes. the, the real number. Maybe they don't want to, maybe they don't know, okay? Yes. Because this COVID changed itself into different mutation. Yes. yes. So sometimes the disease don't just give people cough or high fever. I'm telling you, it's serious. Some people lost their legs and arms and because of COVID-19, they have to amputate even. Oh, wow. Imagine that. Oh, wow. Some people have... Uh, burning skin all, all over, children and all that. There is no typical symptom. So not every government can accurately report the number of the death. Yes, yes Master. But it, it's millions, many millions, and billions are affected. But some are quiet transmitter because they don't have any symptom. They themselves have no clue that they are even uh, infected. So we have to only rely on our own vigilance and, you know, the the moral standard and the merit that we have. Yes. Yes, Master. Prevention is better than cure. You have to be careful no matter what. Yes, Master. 
I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to all the people outside there. They should be careful. Don't take their lives lightly. Don't have this kind of macho spirit in the wrong time, in the wrong situation. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Some people they ask to go out to work. I understand that because they need money to pay for mortgage and all that. But uh, for example, in America, the government give them money. I heard, right? Yes. And also in some country, the boss give the employee money. Some even give full money. But uh, I don't know how long they can give. That's of course. It's also not fair on the boss. Yeah. And the government don't have forever money to donate to their own citizens. They would have had if they don't have war. If they don't spend trillions of dollars in war and climate patch it up. If we all have vegan diet, then we won't have to bear all this. And we will have a lot of money for everything. Nobody will be poor if we share all the money that we have in the world to the needy. Or for climate uh, mitigation, instead of waiting for things to happen like this and spend billions or trillions of dollars just to... She cannot even help it, cannot stop it, just to repair the damage. Yes, Master. Just one second. There's an, there's an insect. He keeps crawling in front of the door. Let me see. No, it's okay. No message. <laughs> uh, actually, in Vietnam, uh, it passed down to us this knowledge that if the spider spring in front of you or show up in front of you, there are some news. Oh. Wow. But not everybody know what news it is. You have to listen. You have to be quiet down, okay? Otherwise, you cannot see. And you can you can tell that the spider telling you something is different from the spider who doesn't want to tell you anything. Oh. He, he will go away doing his own business. But if he just stay in front of you, he don't want to go. He's not scared of you. He stared at you even. Oh. Then he wants to transmit something to you. Oh. But your brain won't capish. <laughs> yes, that's a problem. And sometimes they risk their life. I feel so sorry, you know. One time, just a few days ago, a spider was right at the door. When I opened the door, he jumped down. He fell down, yeah? Oh. And I saw he, he has two legs missing. I thought, oh my God, did I hurt you? Oh my God, why did you do this? Why did you stay right here? You know, I opened the door, I might hurt you. He said, no, no, long time ago. Yes, yes. And the other spider nearby also said, oh, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbor chipping in. <laughs> so cute, so cute. And then he just don't go, you know. This spider, when they want to tell me something, they just stay wherever. Don't care dangerous or not. They do the same with everybody else. You know, they have to stay where obvious so that you can see them. But it is dangerous for them because people might step on them or hurt them or squash them. But they have to do it. It's their job, they told me. So I say, what makes you, you know, uh, degrade it into the life of the spider like this? You know, it's dangerous job also to be a spider. He said, because we ate meat. Uh, oh. A couple of spiders told me that. And then I say, and then now you still eat meat, don't you? We say, no, no, we listen to you. We understand now. We understand very clearly now. We, we don't eat the living. We don't hunt. Wow. We, we find the dead body somewhere or we eat the flowers. So from now I see any spider, I say, okay, you eat the flower or you eat the leaves or you eat only the dead one, okay? And then I can take you home. Oh. Remember, yes. They say, yes, yes, we want to go home with you. Oh, Master. <sighs> yeah, my God. I feel so much love from them, you know. I, I love for all the beings, even the snake. I feel so much love. <laughs> they, I feel like he, she's running, but looking at me, you know, by the way, you know, while running and looking. I don't know how to describe this feeling. Like we know each other. Yeah. So like they, they, they like me, they love me, and it's a kind of uh, a very friendly feeling and a very lovely, like a kid or like a, a good, a very uh, normal, kindly acquaintance, you understand? But very cute, very childlike. Yeah, that's yeah. what I feel when I saw them. The, except the one I did not see. 
they're pushed by the zealous uh, demons to bite me. Yeah, and the, the bird took care of it. I didn't see D anymore since that day, and I miss him. <laughs> I truly miss him a lot of time, you know, even before. I had to leave for New Land, I miss him so much. Oh. I did not want to leave him here. I left food and water around and tell people, tell one of your, your brothers to bring water, put it somewhere, you know, everywhere, so he can have it. And the Master Power manifested something for him to eat, so he didn't have to eat the live insect, wow. otherwise he cannot go home. Well, he came for the Master, the Master has to take care of him, no? Oh. But don't ask me to manifest insects for you, huh? <laughs> you have all the food you need, <laughs> better than me, yeah. Yeah. because I eat simple. All the Supreme Master TV work Master does, is there something more that the team could be doing to lighten Master's workload? Oh, you are helping a lot now, better than before. When I first started, oh, it's so chaotic. I never see the sun for a long time. <laughs> Work all day, all night. I was even so tired, could not eat, could not sleep. But right now, you know, after two, three years training, you guys are getting there. The style is better. If you look at the beginning, you know, when I wasn't in yet, yes. you know, I'm saying like Comatos TV. I wonder why don't we just make a radio? Oh my gosh. Because it was good enough for radio. Not even, not even. <laughs> the guy who read uh, the news, uh, reading like he was feeding his uh, baby with a bottle, and then uh, reading at the same time while well, one eye is closed, <laughs> or half an eye is open. Oh my God, is love from <laughs> my God. You, re- you, you look back at the, the beginning, the first day, I can't believe it. I didn't have time to look at that time. I thought you guys know already what to do, and they professed to me that, oh, this sister been coordinator for LAO TV before, and that, the man, and this. You know, they use their own chickens, <laughs> their own, uh, you know, workers, and uh, this and that already done this and that been there. And so I thought, good, then I don't even have to do anything. And until I check, oh God, I almost fainted. Oh. My God, that's how you put my title on the TV. Supreme Master Television and come at all like that. <sighs> then I have to begin working. But in the beginning, it was so chaotic and so disorganized that I have to do work day and night to bring it into today. Before, I had to do absolutely everything, choosing the host even writing all the comments and writing many things. Right now, even nowadays, you guys sometimes chip in to help me write some, eh? <laughs> when I forget, <laughs> then you guys wrote some. Yeah, now and then, very rarely I forget, but sometimes I'm just too tired or too busy, inside out, inside more busy than outside even. Outside is a piece of cake. Even then, it's tired me out, of course, I'm not used to a computer and all that, and my eyes is getting less uh, sharp now. I used to not need to wear that glass to look into the subtitle, and now I have to. Before I use it to read only the script, because the script print is smaller, and now I have to wear it to even look into the computer for subtitle, and to look at the, the images to make it sharper, and sometimes have headache. Even we have a preventive measure, but still, you know, I'm too sensitive, especially in retreat. Yeah, and they make me work even. But I cannot not work, okay, for Supreme Master Television. I cannot just let you all do it. I saw it many times already. You know? It didn't work. Yes. I mean, maybe work one day, don't work one day. <laughs> uh, okay, work one day, work two day, don't work. Yes. Yeah, it's so many mistakes and so many things. The styles and the... Uh, even recently, you saw how many mistakes I correct. Uh, even you, Americans, are writing like that, grammatically, not logically. Sometimes I, I can see it out. But I, I don't blame you guys, because sometimes we have a lot of work, yes. and you cannot just uh, pay attention to everything. You did your best, I know that, okay? And it's a hard work. Thank you, Master. It's really, really hard work. Even the typing computer, sometimes it makes your hand tired, yeah? Yes, if you do it all day, right? Yes. Mm. 
And also your finger, you know, feel something, right? Hurt or not? If we're used to it, our fingers are okay. Oh, really? How come my fingers hurt when I <laughs> I use a computer? I have to use computer now. I used to use handwriting to correct. But that's too bad because uh, I send the handwriting away and they type it, but they type it wrong. I have to check it again. Oh. Yeah, before I send out. So it's like I work double. Yes. And a lot of work and to work double like that, how can one person take care of all the shows and work double? Even if some show I don't correct, but I still need to see it first. I have to read it to know it in order to know whether or not I should correct anywhere. Yes. It still spend time, you know? Yes. Correcting and writing spend more time, but even not still need. And all the award letter I have to send, I have to read, I have to correct. Because sometimes I correct already, send it back, I make another <laughs> mistake. I have to correct again and again. And nowadays it's less because many of you already improve a lot yes, and already used to with the system and, and knowing and stuff and now I use computer to correct. I thought I could never do it because I never know how to move the mouse before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, the cursor, yeah? Yes. yes. I could not move it. I move and I don't see him anywhere. I say, where, 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 where are you gone? <laughs> come back here. <laughs> oh, sometimes he doesn't go come back for a long time and I move fran- frantically. He didn't come back. I said, you come back now. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he, he seemed like listen to me, but the computer, he has own, his own mind. Yeah. He don't listen to me. Sometimes it look, seemed like I just breathe and then it changed. <laughs> I couldn't go back to that area again. And, oh, it make it crazy, you know. Today again, you know, I had to ask somebody to fix it. Thank God. But I learned, you know, I learned and I do it by computer now, before I used to do by hand. And by hand is very dependent. And I dislike dependence. Uh, Because I have to write and somebody have to come collect it. And then have to bring it to that person and then I have to wait. And then another come and then another come all day long, like people come back and forth like yo-yo. Because some are urgent and correct again and again and again. And sometimes I also am very tired mentally and physically, and I overlook some of the area. And later I look again and I correct again. Yes, yes, Or make some addition and that uh, come back and forth, back and forth a lot. And it is uh, also very tiring for the the male (laughs) men, for the disciple male men. And I don't like it very much that people come up and down, up and down, in and out, always inside my magnetic field, okay? Yes. It also causes disturbance to me for my concentration, yeah? Yes. That's why sometimes I cannot work well and I have to correct again and again. You guys know it. Yes, yes. Some of you who work close to me know it. And I asked a long time ago, I asked several people, can you teach me how to do it? Tell me how to do it so that I don't have to write by hand and then you don't have to keep coming and going or other brother and sister don't have to come in and go in all the time. They said, no, Master, it's very complicated. And then another person said, oh, it's very tricky, very tricky. <laughs> and then the other said, you're too busy, Master, you can't, it's too, it's too much to you to learn. And I thought like that. I thought I never did computer before except you guys already make into USB and I stuck it in to see like watching the video. (laughs) Otherwise, I couldn't have done anything before. I can type in an electric typing machine, that's all, okay? So in the beginning, I said, okay, at least buy me uh, an electric typing machine. So I type it on, so it's more clear than handwriting. But I type it with two fingers only, on one finger even, one and a half. (laughs) So it took so long, so long also. And then later I said, oh, I have to learn computer, I must. And then I asked another of your brother, and he told me what to do. He just write some instruction, push some button, and it's done. So now I'm doing that. I'm very happy with that. Oh, wonderful. It's still very slow, but better than I have to check again, double, you know? Oh, yes. Read my own writing again and get vexed sometimes because some words are so very clear. Some were are not maybe, but some are very clear, and they still do tie mistake because they think differently. They think that's what master meant, oh. or maybe they too distracted by I don't know girls, boys, <laughs> or chickens or whatever in front of them at that time. <laughs> Who knows? Or chicks, yeah. <laughs> okay, 
So now it's more in control now. So I don't have to have people running around me and in and out to my gate anymore or my door. They cannot come in. I lock the door all the time. But still, coming near my gate, near my door, already something bad. I don't like it. Especially when I'm in retreat. Uh, it's bad enough that I have to work while on retreat already and taxing my energy like that already. I try my best, okay? Huh? Yeah. As long as my body functions. Sometimes it doesn't function immediately when my soul is not yet. And I have to force myself to work, and that's when it's hard. I hold the phone and the pen, it just keeps dropping out of my hand. Whoa. Like I don't have a grip. There's nothing wrong with me, I'm healthy, okay? Yes. It's just uh, the higher you go sometimes, it's like that, yeah? Yes, yes. The body doesn't function as alert as when the soul is around. Yes, Master. Okay, any more questions? No more questions, Master. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> no question is good question. Yes. <laughs> thank yeah. you for your time. Ah, thank you. For asking intelligent questions, I like that. It will benefit other brothers and sisters as well, you know? Yes, Master. And maybe one or two worldly people outside, if they have time to even look, if they even care. <laughs> it's a benefit, okay? Even if they don't know it, if they don't look, also the, the energy, nothing is hidden. Anything you spoken remain in the air, remain in the water, remain in the trees, remain on the grass, in the ground, everywhere. Maybe one day scientists will be able to catch it. And then we can hear Jesus personally oh, preaching wow. to us. Or we can hear Buddha talk in uh, his language that we don't understand. <laughs> wow. But who knows, maybe we will. <laughs> maybe until that time human beings have evolved enough to know all that, to understand the teaching of the Master, then I will be free forever. Wow. Yeah, I don't have to come back anymore. Maybe I don't come back anymore this time. It's so difficult to, <laughs> to teach people. Yeah. And even if they do bad things to you, they get bad karma. I have to hide myself everywhere. You did not understand. I am older now than before. But with you guys, I'm more relaxed and inspired to talk. Before, everywhere I go, I'm just wearing very normal clothes, just like everybody else, so that I don't stand out. Yes. I talk about boyfriend, girlfriend, <laughs> about movies, yeah, about oh, the, the inflation, terrible, yes, um, about the supermarket, oh, why did they sell such a thing? <laughs> All right then, it's good. Um, I also have finished my, uh, my work. Today is not much uh, correction to do. And not much writing. Yesterday, a lot, because I had to write, you know, those things for you guys. Yes. Yeah. And also correct some. Mm. I'm grateful when some days less work to do. That means your guys improved intellectually and spiritually. And you think clearer, less disturbance, less garbage in your brain, less uh, obstruction from the negative power. And I'm very happy. So thank you all of you for making uh, it uh, better. Thanks, Master, for thank Master's blessing. It's also better that nowadays we organize more, like the the junior editors. I checked by the senior editors, for example, like that. So before I used to do everything myself, wow. and it was so much, so much. I thought I don't know how long I can live. It was that bad? Mm. It was so exhausting and so draining. Yes. That now. We organize better and everybody is helping everybody, not like before. Now even the subtitler are helping to edit some. Yeah. So it's going more smoothly and less stress for everybody now. Of course, we lost some. Eh? Some come and are homesick or something and left. Um, some say he needs to go home, go back home to study. So yeah, of course, of course, you want to study. A uh, woman, how you say? Uh, Anatomy, no? <laughs> <laughs> He's almost 40 already. Uh -oh. And he has two kids, divorced, for example. What else he want to study? Uh, no, he said he have to go back to school. 
So I was thinking, oh yeah, of course. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so nothing more than I wish all of you well. Wish whoever your brother and sister listen, wish all of you well. Mm -hmm. And wish all the good people outside there well. Anyone who listen. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. May God's love be felt by your heart all the time. May God's guidance be in your mind all the time. So you always do the good thing and benefiting to others. Amen. 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 You know, I I told you already, but I want to tell it on record that I'm really so touched and grateful for your girls, your presence, your dedication, and your willing to work to help the world. And personally, of course, helping me, my ideal, I'm very impressed with your idealistic standpoint and spirit and I'm very grateful. I just want to tell you, thank you all for being here, for being with me, I mean, for being with us on this planet in this time of necessity and, and trouble. May God bless you forever. I'm sure God would bless you forever. That is my wish for all of you.